What's going on guys, it's your boy J-Ho bringing you a brand new video and today I'm going to show you guys my Trials of Osiris loot from last week on all three of my characters. So last week's Trials map was Exodus Blue, one of the original PlayStation exclusive maps and I haven't played on this map too much but I got to learn it a lot over this past weekend. It's a very small map and it catered a lot to shotguns and the short range gameplay although you still could snipe depending on what the other team were doing but a lot of teams like to rush on this map because it is so close quarters especially in the middle of the map where you have the B flag and that's where the capture point is uh, for the overtime so without further ado let's get straight into my loot starting off on my first character on my warlock from the lighthouse chess we ended up getting a adept inward lamp scout rifle along with some motes of light and my inward lamp came in at 313 it came with full auto i believe that's always on it and it also came with zen moment so pretty solid perks for that scout rifle it was only 313 though but still not bad of a start there and then going into the tier bounties for my warlock for the first four the bronze tier you get usually passage coins and motes of light the next two are pretty much legendary marks and for the silver and gold tier for the silver i ended up getting nothing just some more passage coins motes of light and for gold tier we ended up getting the elevating vision which is the fusion rifle so it came in at 310 not bad I typically don't use fusion rifles though so I'm probably going to use that to infuse into something else so that's not bad as well moving on to my second character on my titan from the lighthouse chest we were able to get the doctrine of passing a depth auto rifle once again and this time it was 315 so not bad at least I can use it to infuse into something else that auto rifle isn't the greatest that's why uh, no matter what perks you get on it because the base stats are kind of bad the impact is very very low and it's hard to make use of those type of auto rifles in PvE and PvP so yeah going into the tier bounties for my Titan bronze tier we got the same passage coins and motes of light for the next two, you get your usual legendary marks. And then for the silver tier, we ended up getting no exotic once again, just some more passage coins and motes of light. And for the gold tier, we got the machine gun, the unseeing eye, and it came in at 307. So not bad. I'm not sure how good that machine gun is, but I can always try it out and see if it's pretty decent. Finally, on my last character, on my hunter from the lighthouse chest, we were able to get the water star hand cannon. And one of my teammates did get an exotic there as well. And so this was the last primary that I didn't get from the lighthouse chest. It came in at 313 and it also had range finder on it, which is pretty solid of a perk on hand cannons, especially because the range stat did get nerfed ever since the 2.0 patch that came out before taking king so pretty decent i can't wait to try this one out it looks like a pretty solid hand cannon the impact is kind of average though it's nothing like a timmer's lash kind of gun but it still looks pretty decent in terms of the perks that i got on mine and the base stats and then finally ending on my tier packages for my hunter from the first two we get the typical passage coins modes of light and then we get some legendary marks for the silver we finally got an exotic for the week we got the Monte Carlo auto rifle and for the gold tier I ended up getting it sent to my postmaster and it ended up being another water star hand cannon so it came with rangefinder once again so I'm assuming that rangefinder is the perk that you automatically get and uh, it's always going to be on there so that's pretty cool at least it boosts the range because the range stat didn't look the greatest but my Monte Carlo came in at 310 I don't know if you can get weapons above 310 from your silver tiers but that's what it came at as well I forgot to take a look at it in my inventory but that's about it for this video thank you guys for watching as always like comment subscribe stay tuned for more videos and I'll catch you guys next time peace